Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I haven't done too much this summer here in town. I had so much footage backed up from the spring that I wanted to get that all out to you guys. But I also wanna show you what happens here in Jackson Hole in the summer. Right now, I'm on my way to go to a photo shoot. A girl asked me yesterday if I would come along to this photo shoot to do a little bit of modeling and I thought, why not? Uh, the shoot in general is gonna be at a hot springs and at a fishing hole. So I just went to the hot springs the other day and they are toasty right now, which is exciting. And hopefully this will be fun. Sometimes I think that these shoots are gonna be more fun than they actually are. I think from the outside, shoots look like so much fun. Like, oh, you just take photos and hang out and like have a good time. But it tends to be a lot more work than that a lot of time. And not saying it's like horrible, but Usually you're taking a lot of specific shots that are just mean you're standing in the same place for a long time and not really doing anything. So I don't know, I think this is like a five or six hour shoot. So we will see how it goes. By the way, yesterday I attempted to do press on nails for the first time. I have glue on the top so it like doesn't look quite as shiny. And then for the whole day today, my fingertips had glue on them, but I think it's finally come off. I mean, this is just one day. So I'm very anxious to see how they last. They're supposed to last for two weeks, but I really love getting gel nails. These were $4 and gel nails are like $70. But I just wanted to try, to, try them because I just wanted to see how they compared. I don't really like painting my nails because I'm a painter and the paint always gets on my nails and stays on my nails, but gel it like wipes off. So I don't know, let's see what happens. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Broken is feeling like seeing, not no breath, low dollar. We are at the hot springs and I have my product. Whoa. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow. Get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo. Smile so much to hide my sorrow. Stay this shaky in Barbado. Good morning, guys. The event yesterday was pretty uneventful. Didn't even get in the hot springs because people were in it the whole time at dark. So we finished up and I came back and had dinner. I was starving. And now it is the next morning. I'm working on some animations for the previous video to this one. So you'll probably see these already. I'm trying to get some emails to some potential clients. I have to send out a painting that I took off my gallery wall. It was up there in that spot. Went to Brooklyn, New York. So it's always fun to send paintings to people who buy them. And then Owen and I are gonna go to Teton Park to go paddle boarding. This is the painting that I'm sending. So we need to wrap it up. Need to add a little note and put it in a box. into Teton Park. We're gonna do some paddle boarding because we've only paddle boarded once this summer and Owen said we gotta get more use out of our tags. Cause you gotta get a tag for your paddle boards if you're gonna take them on the lakes in the park. So we got our boards. Usually we bring them pumped up, but I deflated them the other day so that they fit in my car. There's a few more clouds out than we thought there was gonna be, but I think it's gonna be warm enough. We've got our charcuterie in the cooler and Hopefully it doesn't start raining or get windy as soon as we paddle over there, which is what happens like half the time. Yeah, that always happens. We are on the hunt for wild raspberries and huckleberries. On our hikes, there's been so many lately and they're so delicious. They're like the perfect trail snack. We're paddle boarding across Ginny Lake. Water's nice and clear. We've got our cooler, life jacket, of course, dry bag, and a chair. Does it look like a raspberry? Kinda. Kinda. Let me see it. Throw it to me. Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
It's like sort of dry. It's like a different. We can't decide if these are the correct raspberries or not because they're on a different leaf than they usually are. And we found these, which look like huckleberries, but they don't have that like star shape on the bottom. They're a little bit furry, which is really weird. And it's like clear inside and huckleberries are purple. We're gonna try to find a beach to sit at so that we can have our shark be. It's cloudy, but it's really pretty out. Is it getting sunny? We've got a full on beach zone. There's a bunch of ferries that go past and their waves just almost made me fall. made my first carbonara ever last night. We are back home now, and we went to a chamber mixer on our way home, which is basically a networking event in Jackson. They always have like wine and charcuterie, which is great. Owen is cooking a little steak on the grill, I think. We had some food, so we're just having a little dinner before we pack tomorrow for our big trip down to Utah. So we're having some of this and making some potatoes and I'll make a little truffle sauce. That's right. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Flight attendant stores for arrival. Cross check and on call, please. Welcome to Salt Lake. Hey, barista. Oh, hi there. Mm. Do you like a coffee? Hello, you guys. We're here in Park City. We just got, actually, no, we're in Deer Valley, but we're spending the weekend in Park City for a couple of events that a company flew us down here for, thanks to Owen, and it should be a really fun weekend. We just got into our hotel room and are blown away. This hotel called Stein Erickson is putting us up here in Deer Valley. I've never been to Deer Valley before. The views are stunning. We meant to come during the winter, but the summer is just as good. And this is very exciting. The room is absolutely amazing. Hot tub, a huge like separate bedroom, kitchen, which we'll not be using, but unless Owen dances on the countertops, it's gonna be amazing. It's Friday today. We flew in this morning. We had a few delays on our flight, but got in and it's only like a half hour flight from Jackson. So we got here and then we went to a coffee shop. Owen got a haircut. He looks great now. Let's show it off. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he looks great <laughs> still. So pretty. You can see the ski runs. So yeah, we have a few events planned for us. I think this afternoon we're going biking. Then after that, we're going to dinner at High West Saloon here in Park City. And then tomorrow we have a gala to go to. Is it a gala or gala? Gala. So we're either gonna go to the pool or to the hot tub right now and relax until our events start. By the way, we have an Uber balance and it's so easy to jump in Ubers. I feel like as an entrepreneur, you're always doing stuff yourself and traveling yourself and making things happen and everything, it has a cost, but these corporate people get lots of perks. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be a corporate skier. <laughs> All right, let's go have some fun. I say my darling, you are wonderful tonight. And I always remember that beautiful night of your wedding party. You I'm 
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we just had an epic whiskey tasting with some fun cocktails and delicious steak and trout dinner at High West. And we rushed back to make it for sunset, which I think we just barely made it. Clouds are turning pink, and now we're gonna jump in the hot tub and enjoy the night. You guys, this is so amazing that we have a hot tub on our patio. We didn't even know this when we came, and maybe that's the best surprise you could ever get when you're walking into a hotel room, is they're like, by the way, there's a hot tub on your patio. We already got our turn down service from the maids, and they put chocolates on our bed and waters on our bed, and it's really funny because they also like de-poofed our bed. They took the pillows off, you know, like all of the fancy pillows that they stuff on there that you're like usually just throw on the ground. We are so stuffed from dinner. I can't even tell you how filling it was, but it was so delicious. High West Distillery, so good. The drinks were so fun. My last drink I had was infused pine tree something or other with the bourbon and it tasted like a pine tree, which sounds not that good, but it's delicious. And okay, is it time to go in the hot tub? Yes, before sunset. Okay. What's the something about? Look at that Good morning, guys. I'm going to a strength and enlightenment class here at the Stein Erickson, and hopefully, it's just like the perfect way to wake me up. I think today we're gonna go on a hike after this, and then we have an event tonight. Oh my gosh, I just got so lucky going to that class. I was the only one there. And so she catered the entire class to what she thought my body needed. I'm like still shaky. I hope I look like glowing because I feel like I just released all kinds of like stale energy out of my body. <laughs> the first move we did kind of a hip opener, right hip I guess is just wasn't opening. And she's like, oh, I can see that it was tight. I have been so sore in basically my right butt cheek and like the crease of my pelvis started hurting maybe almost a year ago and I actually thought it was due to ovarian cysts but my gyno said no and then somebody mentioned that it might be um, muscle related she got in there and right away was like it's your piriformis muscle which is like a little muscle in your butt and she was digging in with her elbow oh my god and so anyway we did tons of hip opening stretches she basically said i'm doing so much like activity and sports working out that if i'm not stretching i'm just doing my body like a total disservice and i feel like so many of us do that kind of thing like do a lot of activities but don't take the time to stretch and do everything i know owen i've been like trying to get us both to do it but it's really hard to put the time in to just do stretching when all you want to do is like go out and do activities and then get back to work we just did an hour and 15 minutes of straight stretching and i am feeling so good so she recommended to me to do hatha basically it helps you just put your body back to where it belongs and i feel like this is such an underrated thing of making sure your body's like at its peak performance that it can work. Using breath work was like a huge part of this class as well. And I think that's one thing that I know I'm horrible at. Like I hold my breath so much when I'm working during the day and I can tell because my heart will start beating really fast and I'm like, okay, I gotta breathe. Anyway, the whole thing was amazing. This Stein Erickson Hotel is graciously hosting us here and it's just oh, magical. Park City and this town is really cute like there's so much more happening than Jackson so we just went in a ton of shops and then it started downpouring and now we're getting a ride back to our hotel 
because it's now a little chilly and I did not dress for a downpour in chilly weather. Biggest decision of the day is what sunglasses to wear. Always. Oh my God. Hmm. Okay, we've decided on these. This is the final look. <laughs> We had an afternoon flight this morning. We did Sunday brunch at our hotel and it was astounding. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done Sunday brunch before. And Owen was like, oh, it's a thing. Just you wait. I guess he's like the Sunday brunch pro. But it was so delicious, so much food, absolutely insane. But then we just had to grab an Uber and go to Salt Lake Airport and take the like 40 minute flight back to Jackson. So it was just so easy. Uber back to our house. And now I am going through my next YouTube video that I'm releasing, which is all about my murals. Get an idea of each mural and what it entails. So I think that'll be a good one. I wanted to quickly chat about uh, social media in terms of like being an artist or working for yourself because I realized, I actually didn't realize this until I started posting more, but last week I decided I was gonna put more effort into marketing. I'm the type of person that I do a ton of like creative work, but then when it comes to putting it out there and marketing, I'm bored the next day. So I move on to the next creative project and I never end up really pushing or showing off the previous work that I've done because for me, I just get that like stimulation from working on the next thing instead of promoting the same thing over and over. So I knew I had to work on that. So last week I decided to download Notion. I've tried to work on a few different project managers before, but right now I'm working on Notion and I, one of the main things I wanted to do was put in a social media calendar of what I was gonna post and try to schedule some posts. I had somebody helping me schedule some Pinterest posts last year or earlier this year actually, and it has helped so tremendously. I think I'm up to like 400,000 monthly views on there and almost all of my email subscribers are coming from Pinterest via just like um, pins that say blog post titles and then they come read the blog posts and get on my email list it made me realize how much more marketing I can be doing. There's little things here and there that are easy ways to engage with your customers or get more customers to see your work. So I've been pushing really hard to work on that and try to schedule more things. And once I started posting every day, I realized that I was only posting about once a week, which 
for me, I didn't really pay attention because I'm just not the type of person to schedule, but posting every day has made such a difference in people seeing my stuff and knowing what's going on because I think that's half of it is when you go out and you talk to people, they're really excited to know what projects you're working on. And if they're the ones that are following you and they can see that you're actively working on projects, that makes them want to be a part of whatever whatever's going on with you. I guess all I'm saying is if you are working for yourself, try to up your marketing a little bit more because even my husband told me the other day, he's like, you don't need to do another project. You need to promote the projects you've already done. And sometimes it can feel like you're not really doing anything or you're not doing actual work, but the work is in the marketing as well, which is just as important as the creation. Besides that, I think I'm going to end the vlog right here. So I will see you guys on the next vlog.